that goes up above a hundred dollars a barrel. Uh, can I have drilling rights on your head? Mayor Ford, it's me, Mayor Delahunty. You're not going to call 911, are you? What's going on, Commissioner Paulson? Did the RCMP start thinking it'd be easier to get the bad guys if they became bad guys? Laugh. Let the country hear you laugh like you got a pair. <laughs> I wonder, is there any chance at all I'm getting a kiss off you. I mean, you have a prince. I believe that you know nothing then, and certainly you know nothing now. That's obvious. <laughs> Mr. Donald, the, uh, the Canadian press are saying that you're so dense that light bends around you. <laughs> Mr. Watts, it's good to see you. Keith! 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 Nick, are any of the Rolling Stones breaking the Prime Minister's wife this time? Could you just answer it for the Canadian public? We've upped our political standards, and we say to them, up yours! Is that Miss Palin? What odds? Here we are, 300,000 strong, and with a new union and a new name, Unifor. Unifor. Kitschy. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, be still, my heart. Very catchy. Tell me, though, Kenny, that you did not pay some big bastardly consulting firm actual good cash for that meaningless moniker. But... But... Sure. What odds, what odds. So, like you said, Ken, with this new union, we're reaching for the top. But not now the tippy, tippy top, most top. Not according to the slogan you came up with for this, the most important first convention meeting. What is it again? My God, it's so inspiring. Sometimes it slips right out of... Yes, a changing name for changing times. <laughs> rousing, rousing. Did ever six words come together and manage to say so little, I wonder. <laughs> it's almost corporate, isn't it, in its emptiness, you know? <laughs> oh, boo, well, I mean, you're allowed to say corporate. <laughs> but never mind, sure, you two are deserting the ship. I know, Ken, it's only because you hate Toronto and all its works and pumps. Toronto, so close to Brampton and the Chrysler assembly plant and so very very far from Windsor and God. You love Windsor. You love Windsor don't you Ken? Yes. And, and it's obvious you can see why because I mean well uh, Windsor is well sure nobody can deny can they Dave it's got a, a first class view of Detroit and it's held in such high regard, I think people now commonly refer to Windsor as the Earth's rectum. But, ha! Shakon Sangu, Ken, what said Mrs. Murphy when she bent down and kissed that cow? So there you'll be, retired, tucked into the Earth's rectum, cove off like an oriental potentate, scarfing down all the chocolate bars you want, practically 
practically haunting the Windsor race course. Betting gets just cheering through that big CAW pension, betting on the ponies. But my God, Kenny, with your luck with the horses, you could be dead broke, my darling, in no time. And Dave, Dave, uh, and there you'll be, every morning getting up, putting on one of your beautiful suits of clothes, getting out on the hustings, and protesting to your heart's delight. And so with all the extra time, you can figure out even more new ways to get arrested, even more often than you do now. Oh, my God, you love to be in jail, don't you, Dave? And... Thanks be to God, now you can serve even longer stretches in there. No, no, Ken, don't interrupt me, honey. Give, give those big jaws a well-deserved break. Because, let's face it, you have been called a lot of things since you were made the president of the CAW, but quiet isn't one of them or concise, or to the point for that matter. Oh. oh, yes, you're known far and wide for what they call those big fist-pumping, podium-pounding, passionate, long-winded uh, um, um, uh, speeches and interventions of Ken Fidel Castro Luenza. Dave, 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 try to pay attention, honey, my God. I know, I know you got a problem with the, you know, attention span, with your attention span, but it's been like trying to wrangle cats, honest to God, being up here with the two of you. But I was worried that Kenny might get upset. So, you know, and the way he gets so red in the face with the great big vein sticking out of his neck. So I brought her along the defibrillator just in case. But don't... Don't go getting jealous, Dave, my love. I brought along a brand new puffer just for you. Maybe you're right, the two of you, because, I mean, between you, you only really got one decent heart and one working set of lungs between the two of you, so maybe, maybe it is time to shove off and, and give over the job to the new man, Jerry Dias. Yes, a brand... A brand new president for a brand new union. Congratulations, Jerry. Now, no disrespect meant, but I, I found out... Oh, well, no, let me start at the beginning. I think the gods of irony must be riding roughshod over the convention center this morning. Because I just found out that Jerry is from Malta. And my dog is Maltese. And... He's small, just like Jerry, but he do not know the back down. Oh, my dear, he'll take on the biggest kind of dogs and, and yap, oh, my dear. But now, I'm changing mics, and I'm putting on two pairs of glasses. That's how old I am. Uh, now, here you are, Jerry, leading this brand new union. And there's no time. We got to get busy, and we got to find a better way for the working people in this country. And it's going to take standing up to the big dogs and a whole lot of yapping. Because the corporations are not going to give back any of the ground that we already lost. Not without a fight, they, they won't. And Stevel, oh my God, Stevel and the hypocrites, the crime minister and them, should they hate unions now like the devil hates hates holy water. And can you believe it? Now, that pompous, pumped up, putrid, prune-faced pissant of a prime minister is... Yes! He is proroguing again. Yes, asking the Governor General to terminate this session of Parliament. Terminate? Well, I'd like to terminate him, honest to my God. God forgive me, the last time I saw him on TV, I just wanted to pluck the eyeballs right out of his head and pop him up his behind so he could finally see how big of an arsehole he really is. <laughs> Union back.
bashing, robo-calling, omnibus pushing, prison building, human rights shattering, democracy destroying, wife oppressing, lapdog of global oil, weirdo prime minister. Now, he is no friend to the unions, I know that. But that might turn out to be a good thing because you can't help but notice lately that a lot of Stevel's friends are either in jail, up on charges, spending their time defending child pornography, under investigation by the RCMP, or just quietly sitting waiting extradition in Panama, not forgetting, not forgetting his real good fishing friend, the mayor of Toronto. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not even going to make a crack about Rob Ford. <laughs> what is the difference between Pamela Wallen, though, and the Bigfoot? Apparently, there has been one sighting of Bigfoot in Saskatchewan the last four years. <laughs> Why are Mike Duffy and Anne of Green Gables the same? Because both of them are fictional residents of PEI. Now, but really, 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 Smith and Wesson is developing a new gun, especially for Canada. It doesn't work. You can't fire it, and they're calling it the Senator. You know, even I'm not that fond of political jokes anymore because I'm after seeing too many of them get elected. So they're not going to help us, obviously. So the job of getting labor's power back into the hands of the working men and women, that's going to have to be our job. And we've got to find ways like this to come together and fight, fight for something better, not just for the union membership, but for all the people who are living in poverty in this country, which is shocking in such a rich country that we have so many children going to bed hungry. Already Unifor has started a movement. Now the steel workers and the telecommunications workers union are talking about merging the one percent big C did not in fact raise all boats it only raised yachts apparently but now now it seems like maybe the tide is starting to turn so the bosses beware because when we're screwed we multiply <laughs> And I think we're proving here, we're proving here on this Labor Day weekend that there is real strength in numbers. Now, just before I go, if Rob Ford, Mike Duffy, and Stephen Harper were all out on a sinking rowboat in the middle of the lake, who would be saved? Canada! Yay! And now, Jerry. Now, Jerry, I want you to go ahead and lead this union the way that you've promised, that I've read in the press that it's going to be led. And so don't make me come back here and smite you and grind you inexorably underneath my warrior's heel, because I will, you know, because I am Mag, Princess Warrior.